everyone. Hope you're having a great Saturday. Just taking a minute here working on some things around my house and thought, well, why don't I share this with you? Maybe you have something similar. By the way, I did find my glasses yesterday. If you ever misplaced your glasses, if you're like me, I could not relax. I finally found them hanging on the foot of my bed. Believe it or not, on a piece of metal like a bar. They're just hanging there. How in the world they got there? I do not know. I do not know. All I know is I'm just happy I found them. I just got them last week, so it kind of was a terrible thing. And nevertheless, okay, let's talk about this awesome little Aunt Marlena. I picked this up down in Shelbyville yesterday from my friends there, Jan and Ken. Didn't get to see my friend Jan Strickland. She was out and about uh, shopping yesterday, but I uh, just love going over to their place. It's called This and That, and it's right downtown in Shelbyville. And uh, I so enjoy stopping in there and visiting with my friends there. So. This lamp I picked up there, it's a real antler lamp, and uh, oh my goodness, it kills me to do what I'm getting ready to do to it. I love it. It just doesn't fit into my decor, but guess what? If you have something like this that feels rustic or western, that kind of thing, I do have a little of that going on, but it's more toward the mid-century modern, that kind of vibe, and here's how to take it up a notch if you want to do that. Of course, changing the shade is imperative. You know, you're going to put on more of a sleek drum type shade on this maybe a black shade, something that's going to give it more of a modern vibe because I'm going to make this fit into more in a black and white scenario. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to use the whitewash antiquing gel. I'm going to brush it on here with you. This is the same tub of whitewash I've been using to do paintings. I've been using to do pretty much everything around this house. This stuff never runs out. If you buy that pint, you're going to keep it a while. You can do one of two things. You can put it on here, leave it more solid, where you can rub it off. I'm using our artist pack of brushes and all this stuff right now today. Using the code SAVE36, you can get a 36% cartwide savings right today. And uh, even on the antiquing gels, also the pints. We are kind of transitioning away from pints in our lineup since we added in gallons. And so uh, you can save 50% on those if you'll use code 36. They've already been discounted what's available there. The supply is low, so just so you know, there's some great colors still available. But uh, we started this sale, I'm sure the, it's on dwindling on down there. So uh, can you see what I'm doing here? I'm just updating this, and I could just totally have put on cashmere or bone or one of the beautiful whites here. The reason I wanted to put on the antiquing gel is they're semi-transparent. It's still going to give me a, a, the look of something natural. I don't want to just kill it. Although, these are popular in both ways. They're popular as snow white painted pieces. And by the way, they are so expensive. If you see a painted chandelier that's antler been painted over, they're three or $4,000, whether or not. Uh, you can get this look yourself. There's a lot of resin versions of these out there. Uh, a lot of people toss these because they don't know what to do with them. I bought this lamp for $25, and I recall selling these real antler lamps, very similar to this one. Maybe they even came from my old store uh, in the uh, upwards of $300 range if they were real antlers. And this one's happened to be real. So uh, I, don't, I don't hate putting this on it because I think this kind of keeps it natural and still lets me enjoy the original uh, beautiful textures that are in. I'm going to hold this so you can see it a little closer. And you could rub this back. It's kind of up to you. Can you see how pretty it's still letting that come through? and still letting me see some of the detail of the pretty antler itself. Just gonna take this small brush and just get down in there and really wipe it well with this product. This is such a forgiving and easy gel medium. It has a bit longer open time, meaning you can manipulate it and move it around, unlike paint, which starts to wanna lay down. It starts the cure process really early. This has an extender in it that keeps it more fluid and open so you can work with it. So I could wet a towel and wipe it off if I wanted to do that. Or if I could want to leave it more opaque like I'm doing here, I can get that look too. So let you kind of be your own little artist, artist in your projects. And I enjoy that versatility about it. And uh, even so much of the paintings that I've been doing, I've been using it versus trying to mix something like that. I just use it right from the can, ready to go. So if you saw my little artworks recently, I have kind of discovered my own product here. All right, what do you think? You liking the looks of it? I just think it looks fresher, and I'm gonna use it in a, kind of a modern, in my little art gallery hallway that I've been creating here. 
with my artwork. So I'm going to set this on a buffet there. I haven't found that piece yet. I'm going to set that on a buffet with a black shade and my hallway is kind of blacks and neutrals and a lot of grays. But the floor here is warm wood. Um, that probably sounds like I said warm wood. Warm, warm. Tennessee version of the word warm. Warm uh, woods, wood tones. And uh, I could have gone with kept it even like it was, but I just wanted it to have a new lease on life and look different. So therefore I'm painting it. Now to find shade is going to be the trick. And uh, getting the right shade for it. Don't want to get one that looks squatty on this lamp. So it's going to be uh, one you probably can't find on or at Lowe's or somewhere. You're going to have to probably order a shade for it unless you just look up and have one. It, I, it didn't have a shade when I got it yesterday. So even though Ken did try to find me a shade that would work for it, he was so kind and said, let me help you see if there's a shade in here that would work for it. Well, there wasn't one in there that would work for it. Heard me that you can't see the back of what I'm doing. I'll paint that later so you can continue to see what's happening here. Just ask questions. Melissa is on here with me. She may be sharing or talking with you. I'm not sure. I can't see that well, uh, that far away. All right. So a big change it's already making. Just making kind of sure to keep my brush strokes linear so it doesn't look smeared on. And you can continue to coat it and get it as heavy as you want. And it's already starting to dry down as we go. So it's going to dry pretty quickly, especially in something that it can absorb into like this. It's a soap and water cleanup product and there is no smell whatsoever. I'm just working here in my kitchen on top of a plastic bag, a trash bag, my go-to. I'm getting a pretty opaque look going on in certain areas. So again, you could dial it back if you want or just leave it as is. You don't hear that annoying washer, dryer, whatever that is? Sends readily every time, I believe. You know, it's, uh, I have to say that I, I thoroughly enjoy, y'all know I move a lot, and I move because I think everybody thinks I get bored, and I do. When I get something decorated, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to move to the next project. And uh, we started working on this house about probably, when it's getting up there, maybe close to a year and a half ago at least. And uh, I wanted to move in it just so I could go decorate it, in all honesty. and. Uh, just have something different to do because this one's kind of more of a contemporary farmhouse type style house. And I wanted to go come here so I could try my hand at uh, doing some things toward the rustic vein. Hadn't been able to do that in the last house or two we'd lived in. So uh, I also pare down during those times. And I get a little leaner every time I move. I get a little bit leaner, a little bit less to carry. So do y'all like to move like me or do you dread that? I know that's rare for someone my age to want to move and change and get out of the get out of the same house. You can't hardly see what we're doing now in a white plastic bag, I don't think. But uh, there's something about it liberating for me and downsizing and continuing to downsize as we go. And just selling the house furnished. That's the best way to do it. Don't want to have to move anything. When you get here, you ain't got nothing to set up, which is a little bit difficult because you got to drag all the stuff back in. That's the only thing I kind of dread is uh, moving the things back in because now you have nothing. So there you go. There it is, the before and the after. You can see now, and I failed to take a before photo of this, but that's how quickly you can change these up. I'll just turn it over and get the underside of it really well. And I'll share with you uh, how this is going to look all set up once I find my buffet. I had a, in this house, I had a built-in coat uh, place where you, your kids all sit down, coats and all those great things. I don't even know what you call that thing now. Uh, it was built into the foyer to the back entry of this house. And to be honest with you, I liked it, uh, but I, I 
mind the type of person that if I saw all that clutter sitting there, my mind is like, well, let's go put those coats away. So it's a hall tree, sorry, built in hall tree, and they had all the little blankets and the lid you could raise up and stuff things into and all that. But for the life of me, I couldn't relax knowing that if there's ever coats hanging on that, <laughs> I'm going to go put them away where they belong. So I said, I'm going to tear that out and put something beautiful there. Well, of course, it damaged the drywall and all that. It had been glued to the drywall. So um, needless to say, that made a little bit of a mess. Um, and my husband thinks I am a lunatic. Well, I probably am, but I am going to enjoy that much better because that's the entry through the garage where that was that we use. So why have something there that was an eyesore 99% of the time and a catch-all? Now it's going to be a pretty place when I enter in. I'll light it up nice and I will have something there that I enjoy looking at and especially viewing it down this hall, which is a vertical a straight shot from my kitchen back through there to draw your eye down to that hideous coat rack full of junk would have been annoying. So now I've got this pretty little hallway that I created with my artwork pieces, my benches that I made with the uh, two by 10, Ron and I. And then now I'll have that pretty piece and I'll sit my lamp down there. All bargain finds, everything I'm doing, I'm doing it just trying to create it myself and making it a home that I can look around and see things that I enjoy, things that I did, did, did myself or ideas I come up with myself. I'm looking for the right piece of furniture that I can flip and make beautiful for that piece down there. I think I'm going to do something very textured and bring in all these kind of um, this russet color and blacks and so on into that. Don't know exactly what I'm gonna find just yet, but I'll find it and I'll be sharing it with you. It won't be long, but I have to find them as we, you have to just find them as they present themselves. And this piece was, when I saw it yesterday, I said, oh, that'll make a great lamp for the buffet once I see the buffet, all right? Okay, so it's always an evolution of things as they roll in here. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining me here. Don't forget about Say 36. Just write it all, one word, no space in between, Say 36. And uh, you can say 36 cartwide on, it's 36% cartwide on anything you add into your shopping cart right now at allinonepaint.com and uh, get any of the products that you are familiar with. And if you're not familiar, check out our free sample offer. You can get a free sample, pay $6.99 shipping, and get a free sample enough to paint a vanity, a front door, a project that's about 35 to 40 square feet. Just kind of do the quick math and you'll see that you can uh, cover something quite easily and uh, see what you think about the paint. And uh, we hope you come back and jump into our group right here on Facebook. You can check us out on social media all over by visiting the website. You'll see all of those links there to Facebook, of course, and to our Instagram, Pinterest, uh, you name it, it's all there. So YouTube as well. All right, guys, I hope you have a great rest of your evening and I'll see you on Monday. Bye.